What's up everybody, I'm here playing some Gotham City Imposters. Now, I'm here just playing this on the PlayStation. Oh wait, no. I got it fired up on the PC, and people have been having a lot of trouble getting uh, some smooth frames. And here you'll notice, well actually it's a little bit choppy, not too bad though. That's usually just the server, but uh, I fixed my problem of incredible frame drops. Now, most people are probably thinking like, oh man, you must have had to change something huge with like the settings and stuff, because the thing is, they they put out Gotham City Imposters, but it wasn't at all rendered for the, or it's not at all re not rendered, not at all optimized for the uh, PC. So, when they put it out with Steam, if you try to run it through Steam, it just makes it completely unplayable and frankly I was very upset because this game just looks incredible for like it's like a TF2 type but it's like well Batman and Joker kinda knockoffs and this game isn't so much some good gameplay because I'm only level 3 right now and the servers are awful so you can barely ever get in a game right now because you get in like one game every couple I don't know, probably like four or five tries you get in one game and that's just kinda awful so um, I'm just here to kinda I'm just gonna let people know how to fix it now the way I fixed it after quite a bit of searching and just kinda uh, troubleshooting some different things is what you can do is if you bought it with Steam and it's not working if you bought it without Steam which I'm not even sure if you can do because I don't use much else outside of Steam but if you bought it with Steam you can go to your program files and if you're running 64-bit system then it's uh, program files uh, x86 or whatever and you grab shit I'm just, you go to your program files then steam and then you go through like its program files steam uh, steam apps I think then common and then you find Gotham City Imposters and you just run Gotham City Imposters from the EXE that's there so that's from the goth it'll be it'll say like imposters I think mine says imposters and then if you kinda scroll over to the right of it it'll say uh, execute executable file or like something like that and that's your dot EXE for uh, Gotham City Imposters and if you run it without steam you'll be able to play like this and I've got everything on high and I'm obviously running fraps right now so my frames are a little bit I'm dropping like one or two every here and there but uh, like I was so upset that this game wasn't gonna work and I was thinking I was gonna have to wait like a month for some support to get out because it's not like it's Modern Warfare 3 and they're just gonna jump on the problem and try and fix it because they've already got it out for oopsie Xbox and uh, PS3 right so they're not like going bankrupt or anything off of this so yeah that's if you want you can try that and I see that there's another fix but it's not a permanent fix so I'm not even gonna try and give this but this is permanent and then if you go to the exe file and just make a shortcut on your desktop you can use the uh, you can use it instead of going into steam and hitting the uh, and running it out of steam just run it off of your desktop shortcut and yeah that should make it work for you because people were saying like oh my god my computer can't run this game what does it take to run and stuff it's not it's not a very demanding game well it is like tf2 kind of demanding but like everybody's computer that if you can run because i was playing like battlefield 3 and i was like what the hell why can't i run freaking gotham city imposters so I did a bit of searching and found this. So this isn't really a gameplay. I'm just letting you guys. What the hell was that? What is that thing? Do you guys see that? But anyway, that was kind of aha, invisible person. But yeah, that's the fix, and I'll post it in the description. And there, and you guys can try that out. And if not, uh, I guess just wait for the update would be my best. My best guess. I can't. I don't really know any of the other other ways that are permanent anyway. 
I know some temporary fixes, but they're like crazy fixes. You have to like go every single time to fix it and like do it every time before you run the game. So I figure I'll just post this one. Hey, yeah, this is just me kind of sucking it up, letting people know how to win or how to how to win. Wow. How to get your game running with playable frames. Eh. Now I'm just gonna kind of play play it out. I think there's only like a minute or two left in the game. Or some such nonsense. But yeah, this game, now that I've actually started to play it, it's incredible. I, it's like uh, TF2 kind of gameplay, which I find I find the graphics, though, they're like, uh, they remind me of Mass Effect. Or not Mass Effect, Jesus. Um, Homefront, quite a bit. Like the way the rockets travel and stuff like that. And just like kind of like everything about it just reminds me of Homefront for some reason. I'm not really sure why. It just does. Oh, I got like a. Oh wow, seven and seven. Keep it even. Oh my ping's sucking. Oh whatever. I think it's because I'm uploading something, but. See, god damn, that blur. Get on, bitch. Someone's firing some rockets. Oh. But see that, like, frame drops like that and things, those are the, their servers because right now, they don't even have it so that you can join games that are, like, mid-game. You have to actually start from the beginning. Oh, I'm getting a bunch of frame drops now. But yeah, this game is incredible. I love it. Lots of fun. I want to get, uh, hopefully a, a lot more people will play it, because, or, well, I hope more people get it after the update that comes out, when you can actually join games, like, mid-game and stuff. Holy shit. We win. Who's laughing now, ass clowns? Interesting saying. So, yeah, I'll post this uh, in the description, let you guys know. And, uh, yeah, hope you have fun playing Gotham.